Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. Let's see what comes up. What do we have for around the 14th? What do we have for around the 14th? Four of Wands. Wow, well, that is all about commitment. That's happiness. This is a get-together uh, celebration. People getting together, um, hugging, dancing, having fun. Um, there may be a party outside or a get-together outside. People could be eating outside, doing something outside together. This is definitely a gathering or getting together with somebody, and it's very happy. It's it's a it's just a happy time. Okay, so this is a happy get together right here. Five of Wands. Interesting. Now this is a this is a competition of some sort. Um, playing games, maybe. There could be a competition. You know, there could do, there could be some games that are played. Uh, who knows? Um, could be watching other people play a game. This is definitely um, well. Some sort of competition. It's a battle of some sort. There could be some some sort of this is some sort of battle, whether it's uh, playing games or a competition. Four of Swords reversed. Now this the Four of Swords reversed is. extremely exhausted fed up fed up with the competition fed up with playing games somebody is fed up with playing games they don't want to play games anymore they're, they're sick of it they're definitely sick of it they don't want to play games now this has to do with commitment and happiness and forever right somebody is sick of, of playing games they are they're sick of it they're, they're definitely fed up they don't want to do this anymore they've reached the end because this is a dead end. Five of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. We have two fours and two fives. Four, four, five, five. Interesting. We're very and, and two of them are upright and two of them are reversed. So there's opposites here. There's opposites, but very much alike. interesting so there's a lot of similarities okay there's a lot of similarities but there's also a lot of differences there's some sort of magnetic attraction as well now five of pentacles reversed is somebody was probably neglected or abandoned maybe there was competition maybe somebody wasn't ready for a commitment whatever the case is but this is this is um the end of the competition or the end of playing games the end of ghosting or ignoring or whatever it is it's the end of difficulty with the five of pentacles reverse it's coming out of the darkness this is light at the end of the tunnel it's some sort of improvement is there we have a turning point here we definitely have a turning point somebody has got reached to the point where you know this isn't going anywhere what, what they've been doing whatever game they've been playing or whatever you know isn't going anywhere it's exhausting to keep playing this game now we have a turning point we have somebody here that is sick of it so ten of swords reverse this is this is a revival of some sort something because this is it died something died it's coming back to life, you know. This person may have been overwhelmed. Maybe they were tired. Or they're just tired of playing games. Whatever. Anyway, the Ten of Swords reversed is 
a near death experience. Probably was something was probably close to coming to an end. You know, something was close to ending because somebody wasn't putting in effort. You know, they were playing games. This is a near death experience where uh, there could be a recovery. Okay, there could be a recovery here. Somebody may be recovering. Maybe they were ill. This could be recovery from illness. Anyhow, this Ten of Swords reversed is um, something coming back from the dead or something like that. It nearly died. Whatever. Something nearly, nearly died or... Ten of Wands reversed. My gosh. Look at the repetitives. Okay, so we have two fives, two fours, and two tens. So something almost ended. Tens are completion. Now these are both, both and it may have ended. Something may have ended. So Because these are both cards of freedom. This is freedom. Freedom from the competition. Freedom from playing games. Freedom from uh, a dead end, put it that way. This is making a conscious change. Somebody is making a conscious change. They are, and they're giving up something. They're giving up. They're 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 not. They're they were holding on. Maybe they were working too much because this is overwhelmed, tired, trying working, had too many demands, had too many responsibilities. Maybe they had a lot of competition that they were dealing with, and that's why they were working so much. You know, trying to outplay the competition. You know, keep on top of the competition. Anyhow, maybe they had some financial burdens with the Five of Pentacles reversed, which caused them to be, you know, overworked or too many responsibilities here. There's, there's definitely tired, exhausted, um, working a lot as well, overwhelmed, too much, care, too much on their plate. Somebody may have had too much on their plate. Maybe, maybe they were trying to fix their bank account, you know, we just had a big old pandemic, maybe we're still in it, whatever. There's financial burdens here with the five of pentacles reversed. There is, there's financial burden and this is burden as well. Overworked, overwhelmed, got too much on their plate, tired, exhausted, uh, because of the competition. And something maybe maybe there was a relationship that nearly died because this is a relationship of some sort that nearly died because somebody was too focused on you know their work definitely could be work and it, this 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 focus on whatever it was caused this person to neglect you know probably a partnership or the person that they're with or something like that because um, this is neglect but this is dropping something, giving up, you know, letting it go, uh, freeing yourself, making a, a conscious change. This could even be a collapse, okay? This There could be illness here. Did I, I don't know if I said that or not, but I was thinking it because this is illness and this is illness and this could be a collapse. You know, if somebody tries to do too much, sometimes they can collapse, you know? Um... And this is like a near death or, you know, it could even be the relationship that nearly died. Okay. Now this is, you made your bed. Now you need to lie on it as well. So somebody, you know, may have uh, caused the relationship to end because these are both completions because they chose other responsibilities over the relationship. Um, anyway, Ten of Swords reversed. That is, ex that's like uh, things getting worse. Things are getting worse. The worst has happened. Hmm. Five of and that is the worst that has happened. You know, there's been some sort of neglect or fighting or power struggle. Somebody's been struggling. This is not listening to a warning as well. Somebody, there's, 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 there, there's illness here and somebody needs to listen. They're, they're overdoing it. They need to take a break. Somebody needs to take a break. They're overdoing it. They could collapse. They could collapse. I don't know whose message that is for, but somebody is overdoing it. Trying to prove themselves. 
Now we have three fives. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. A change is needed. Fives are about change and choices and power struggles, life choices, instability. We have some serious instability here. Now it's time to, to it's time to let something go. It's time and, and it is about freedom. It's about breaking free from your burdens and your baggage that are holding you back from happiness because this is extreme happiness. Somebody is needing to uh, put their happiness first. Now this could be like a reunion that is coming up. There could, you know, I don't know what is going on, but 555, five, five, expect the unexpected. And you can expect somebody to be freed of some sort of burden that they have been carrying. Somebody is about to be freed of that. This may not survive. The Ten of Swords reverse. May, somebody may not survive. They may not. I'm being honest with you. They may not come out of it alive. This is a dead end. Okay, So somebody may not come out of it alive because they're overdoing it. They're trying to compete. We have a major competition here. Okay? We do. Somebody is trying to compete and their their need to compete is causing them some sort of illness that you know, may cause them to collapse and they don't survive. They may survive. It could be a near-death experience. Whatever. It could be either or. Anyway, 555, five, five, expect the unexpected. I'm not kidding either. There's instability here. Somebody is really struggling. Fives are struggles. They are. Somebody is really, really struggling with... Uh, all of their demands, all of their burdens, mental conflict. They're struggling with um, letting go of some things and taking a break. This person is bringing, making themselves sick. This is wanting to prove yourself, you know, it's not, and then it's like, this is about letting go of ego and letting go of the need to prove yourself. Do you want to be happy or do you want to continue to prove yourself for the rest of your life? What's it going to be? You have to make a choice here. There's happiness or there's dealing with competition. I mean, come on now. Anyway, somebody is sacrificing and I don't need the hangman to see it. They are sacrificing their happiness. Anyhow, five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. There's gonna five's about conflicts too. I think there's gonna be a conflict. I do. I do. Okay. I think there's gonna be a conflict. It's causing conflict. This, this carrying all this and holding on to this and, and choosing all of this responsibility and demands over happiness is causing conflict and strife and whatever. Arguments. Pushing people away. People are getting pushed away. Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups is love, right? It's overflowing emotion. This is a flood of emotion. So it's going to, there's some sort of, you know, this could be a new love. It could be um, a new start in love, a new beginning, things starting to get better. Somebody being, opening their heart, being um, honest, being emotionally honest with themselves, following their heart, expressing their feelings. This is a new beginning. Aces are opening up. Okay, they're opening up. This is a new beginning in love, a new start in love. So we do have a new start in love here. Get prepared. Three of Wands, get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You may not see it coming, but it's right around the corner. It is definitely right around the corner. This is also about traveling and focusing on the future. Getting prepared, get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival, get prepared for a message. The lovers, the lovers reverse, the lovers reverse is a separation. That is a separation. This is emotional. Very, 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 very emotional. The Ace of Cups is an is a flood of emotion. There's something that is coming and it does have to do with the lovers reverse separation. Okay, there's conflict, there's a disconnection, there's detachment, there's one-sidedness, there's a separation, there's a broken relationship, there's disharmony, somebody's not reciprocating, okay, they're exhausted, there's going to be some sort of separation and it's going to be very emotional. Somebody is letting go, this is freedom, they're letting go, they're overwhelmed, they are overwhelmed and they probably have another option because a lover's is a choice, it is a choice. So it is a choice. They are letting go of the wrong one. Okay? Because this is the wrong one. Somebody is letting go of the wrong one. They're letting go of a contract that has exhausted them. And this doesn't have to... I mean, the lovers is a contract. Okay? They're letting go of a contract that is basically killing them. The Four of Swords reverse. That is that it's 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 exhausting them, it's it's wearing them down, it's making them tired, it's it's overwhelming, it's they can't they can't th there's nothing left to prove here either. They've tried to prove over and over and this is proving and this is proving. Somebody has tried to prove themselves over and over and over and over and over again. It's like I don't I don't wanna do this anymore. There's been too much conflict. I don't wanna there's nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. I do feel like we have somebody here that is moving towards happiness. They're ready. They've been getting prepared to make the move. They've been getting been getting prepared to release. They've been getting <clears throat> I don't know why I'm coughing all of a sudden. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's sharp too. It's like really sharp. Interesting. They've been getting prepared to release. They have because this is a release. They have. They are. They're getting ready to release something that has been weighing them down and holding them back. And they're going to move forward. They're going to and they're going to hope and pray for the best. They want to, it's like, almost like they want to go, they want to live someplace else. They want to go someplace else. They're sick of playing these games as well. Sick of playing these games. Sick of the competition. It feels like whoever this person is, uh, just, just reaches the point where they just collapse. Okay. I can't do this anymore. It's like they hit their knees. They hit their knees and they, they, maybe they, they, you know, something, they, they start crying or something like that. I think it is definitely very emotional and they, um, just give up. The Ten of Swords reverse is giving up. Somebody is definitely giving up on a situation that has been, it's been war. It's been an all out battle. It's, it has, this is a very hostile situation. Somebody and, and not and I don't know if it's work related or what it is, but it has been it's been a war zone. Okay, this is a separation from somebody that they are not compatible with, whether it's a work contract or whatever. This is a separation. It's not compatible. This is a detachment. They're they're moving forward because you know they want to live. They want to live again. They want to be happy. So they're moving towards happiness. It's definitely, this is a new beginning. It's following their heart. Somebody, something to do with the heart. Um, 
Oh, goodness. The Two of Cups in reverse in the bottom. We definitely have a separation here. This is a separation. This is a breakup or a split or, you know, um, you know, this is an unhappy partnership. It's it's an argument that leads to a separation or, you know, it's the ending of a it's the ending of a par partnership. It's a disconnection. We definitely have a disconnection here between two people that don't that aren't meant to be together. They aren't meant to be, okay? They're not. Somebody has has maybe they've always had some sort of dreams or their intuition because it's the gateway to intuition or something has guided them to follow their heart in another direction. I do also feel like, I mean, the Four of Cups is all about, I mean, the Four of uh, Wands is all about happiness. It's all about um, celebrating life, celebrating union, celebrating love. Um, headed towards the Four of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. Get prepared. Somebody is getting prepared to unite with their perfect match. They are. They are getting prepared to unite with their perfect match. But they have to go through some sort of battle. They had to go through some sort of battle before they could do so. They did. They did. So anyway, there is some sort of separation. It's gonna be it's gonna be a surprise, okay? Five five five, expect the unexpected. There's gonna be a, a separation here uh that really, really, really surprises you. And it does lead to, I think it leads to a reunion with the right one. And a reunion can be with somebody that, you know, you abandoned or neglected because you were overwhelmed by the other one, okay? There's been some sort of neglect here. There has with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Somebody has been neglecting their feelings and neglecting following their heart because, you know, either it was their job, they were overwhelmed with work, or they were overwhelmed by another the false contract the contract that you know wasn't meant to be anyhow i do see traveling as as well traveling to a new destination moving somebody's moving um it's like i just want to be happy and if it means that i have to give this up then i will and that's what this is so I feel like it's the death of an an idea or a death of a relationship, the death of a partnership, or, the, or it could even be, you know, more. Okay. So this is this is the this is the end. Okay, it is the end. Okay, because of the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords, it's the end of suffering. It's like this. We've they've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to reach the point of collapse where I can't hold on anymore. I gotta follow my heart into happiness. <clears throat> so anyway, we do have a new beginning here in love that comes after a release of a partnership that is not compatible. So be prepared for that. Um, Knight of Swords. I just cut it. I just cut the deck for the heck of it. Knight of Swords, so that's somebody coming in fast. It's a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. That is somebody that throws themselves into the heart of an issue or a situation, and it happens very, very fast. This is somebody that is rushing, okay? They rush, they, they're, they're making a getaway. They get out quick. They do, somebody's gonna be getting out quick. They have their mind made up. They're going in a new direction. They're on some sort of a mission. So get prepared for somebody to get out really, really, really quick. Good luck.